Day 328. The day we're getting to 7. Had an interesting take on the morning. Alarm went off at 6.30. Immediately turned the alarm clock off. <laughs> Didn't even try to snooze, just straight off. And I'm like, okay, lay back down. Got up at 8. Pup was excited to go. And as soon as I turned over and moved, she's like, oh, hey, let's go. And she kind of, what is he called? Nuzzle, nuzzle, muzzle me. She gets in with her nose and tries to <laughs> dig in, so I pet her. And I went outside, or no, it took a while to go outside. She kind of held, hid in her kennel again. So I gave her about 10, 15 minutes, and finally we got to get outside around 8. 20, 30. Regular walk was fine. She pooped like three times. I was like, Am I feeding you too much, pup? What's going on? Speaking of, she's over here claiming her spot again. And I have the pillow here so that I can claim my spot so she doesn't steal it anymore. <laughs> pup check. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of why. I have it there and she knows, I think she's starting to learn now. So the closer she can get to that, the closer she'll be at me once I lay down, turn the lights off. But besides that, <clears throat> the goal was to get a run in the morning. The long run turned into an afternoon run. I text my buddy, said, hey, let's go for a run at 10. And he texted me the day before and said, yeah, let's go for a run tomorrow. And so I text him let's go for a run at 10 today he said hey I got a, a training class let's go around 3 I was like oh I don't know if I can wait I waited a little bit try to get a little something to eat hydrate with water I had a bunch of trouble uploading yesterday's video so <laughs> I think I tried at least four times to upload it and it sat there for about 10-15 minutes at 0%. I tried changing the Wi-Fi just to the cell phone signal. It wasn't picking anything up. Turned the phone, or restarted the phone. Didn't pick up. Turned the phone off. Didn't pick up. Tried it one more time and it finally started <laughs> to upload. <sighs> but that, that was a little frustrating. Just it slowed my phone down for the next three and a half hours. <laughs> but finally got up. Oh, I, what did we do? Watched a little TV. And. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, sorry. Oh. Then trying to get the phone to work. I was debating on when to go run. I was waiting until 10, 10 30. My buddy texts around just before 10 and said, Hey, let's let's go at around three. Excuse me again, I wanted to go before. There was a chance my dad was gonna come into town. So I wanted to be sure to meet up with him. So I ended up going for a run around 1 30, 1 40, somewhere in there charged my watch right before and got out the door and I wore a short sleeve shirt which is just nice I figured it was probably the hardest part of the day and for the first mile I felt maybe I shouldn't have worn black and black so I had black shorts the black top and the back was kind of alternating between blue and black but on the front like right in the shoulders and the chest I felt oh it's a little bit warm for being I think it was only 65 is what the <clears throat> Google said. So I was like, okay, 65, I should be should be okay. So if I heat up about mile six or seven, whatever it is, I, it'll be a cool breeze and I'll cool down. But thankfully, after about a mile, I felt great, no problems. And I'm trying to think how the rest went. And I felt good. I think the first mile was the slowest one, obviously. 
so the way I like to run it. But yeah, 7.48. So at the, after the first mile, I was like, if the first mile is 7.48, then it could be for a little surprise today. And sure enough, it all went well. 726, 718, 725, 725, 724, 723, 716, 718, 712. And I did 11.5. GPS shows 11.51. That was all the mile times again. But I was I shocked myself. I was thinking again because they had three days off, a little cold, that it was going to be tough to run that many miles. And even at mile seven, I could feel my body kind of say, you know, we haven't run more than this, so what's going on? I just try to shut it off and get back in a headset of, you're fine, you're relaxed, you're just coasting through, hold pace, keep finishing, finishing strong. And it's always that plus when you reach it, kind of the halfway mark, kind of that halfway mark. It was a weird, it wasn't exactly an out and back today, so I say kind of halfway because <clears throat> as soon as I got around mile five or six, I was like, okay, we're more than halfway done. The hardest part's behind us. We're just coasting in. We're just, whatever the body's got left, we're using up. And just kept going and the pace kept picking up slightly and yeah the average was 724 which was great because I believe last week was 10 miles at 7 what was it 738 740 so surprised that taking the break and being able to do 11 and a half today I was supposed to 11 last week this week is faster than last week but I'll take it, I'll take it. And so right after I came back, played with the pup a bit, tried to get some nutrition in, got some water, had some cashews just to quickly get in calories and a little bit of protein. I thought about the protein smoothie and decided let's just eat some food and we'll go from there. And so I had some pizza and a couple of onion rings left over. So I threw that in the air fryer and about two minutes after I threw it in, my dad had called and said, hey, what are you doing? I just said, I'm just getting ready to eat lunch. I finished the run about an hour ago. Tried to play with the pup, give her, make sure she was fed and everything. And I'm just gonna try to eat real quick. It's like, okay, well, don't eat too much. I had a change of plans. And I figured I'll just go up there today. When I go get some flowers, take them to grandma's site and then I'll plan to be on I'll plan to be there at 6 30 and I'm like the restaurant we're going to the same restaurant like, yep be there at 6 30 so I was joking around and said all right I'll get there early and get the first round of chips and salsa a taste test for you make sure that it's okay and he laughed he knows we have these little jokes about food and ordering food and who's eating first so he, he got it right away that I was joking away we made said Oh, you're just the nicest son. <laughs> like, taste testing the food. So I kind of laughed. And I'm like, it's a joke. We're just playing. And we like to call each other and place food orders. We bother each other about pickup and delivery, and the delivery fees. And it's just a small, small thing that we have going. It's pretty fun. So, anyways, the plan was to get there at 6 30. I sat down for another hour because I was eating what I had and then I was playing the game I watched this new guy on YouTube I mean he's new to me I think he's been around for two or three years now his name is Juan and he does his, his link is for the channel is um, that's that's epic oh my gosh let me look it up real quick. So it's not shaking. No shake. That was epic. 
that was epic in one word is his channel and I just started watching video after video and my roommate was right there and watching it and like what does this guy do and like he's giving away money gave away cars he paid people's rent gave away laptops and I was like he's he's right here in our area like three or four miles he's got a, like four or five videos where he's just a few miles north of us <laughs> so I was like if you're ever bored you know head on over there maybe you'll see him and win a car or <laughs> some extra cash we were just laughing because some of the videos he was he said like give someone a hundred dollars and run away and like how awkward would that be you just don't know why and he was just trying to have fun with it so that the people watching would be entertained and I'm sure some of the people that he gave the money to before he gave him money and maybe even explained it were just like what is going on with this guy right now <laughs> but anyways yeah that's the channel that was epic and it was just pretty cool to see probably watch more of those tomorrow when I have some downtime but watch those pup was hanging out took a little nap on me and I'm like all right let's go for a walk and try to get outside oh she was waiting again so we took time away to get outside eventually we got her out like went to go her food get her dog bag or dog treats and open the bag and then sure enough she came right over it's like all right i'm gonna give you this treat but you need to get this harness on first so we got the harness on gave her the treats good girl let's go outside go to the bathroom came back i met up with my dad and he called me maybe three or four minutes before i got there and he's like hey where are you sitting i was like hey i had a minor issue pup didn't want to go outside when we were trying to get ready to go so she took her time and it's kind of on her time but I'm just getting off the freeway right now I'll be there in three or four minutes like all right so my opportunity to uh, start the chips and salsa was totally out the window <laughs> yeah, but it was fine we sat down had my son's jersey on like my booker jersey and we were just talking catching up we had about a half hour before the game so we had chips and salsa, he ordered the drink, I had a bunch of water. He's like, you thirsty? I was like, yeah, after after that long run, I can't stop drinking water. I can just drink it all, all day, all night. It just, my body <laughs> just needs to be replenished with fluids. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> but watch the game. We thought we were going to leave after the third quarter, and we ended up staying talking. Before we know it, we were like, three or four minutes left of the fourth so we just ended up watching the whole game so that was a good time another great moment I had with my dad this year with him this video year if you will and then yeah I just got to hang out enjoy a nice dinner enjoy great company yeah, enjoy those moments as many as much as I can as many as I can and then we left paid left paid first then left and then my dad gave me the little like space heater you plug in anyways it helped because obviously our maintenance is still behind it's been two weeks and they haven't came back to fix the heater so it's been a little chilly during the night so it kind of helped to turn that on for an hour feel warm for a bit before bed but that's it push-ups are done i need to read Obviously it's bedtime. Pub says it's bedtime, so I'm gonna turn off the light and call it a night. So run your life with health and happiness and have a good night.